Hello, Carrie Guy. Thank you for working with me on this interviewing exercise. This interview is part of my assignment for the Human Development DEP 2004 course in which we are both enrolled at. As classmates, we are asked to conduct an interview together. Although this is not really a research project, I still want to give you the same courtesy, consideration, and respect that a researcher would. Your participation is generally appreciated and hopefully this will be a useful learning experience for both of us. My role today will be as an interviewer. This will require me to briefly read to you about a hypothetical scenario concerning a man named Heinz and a dilemma he experienced. After reading it out loud, I will ask you a series of questions for which there are no right or wrong answers. Just tell me what you really think. If for any reason we are disconnected during the interview, I will call you back or redial via Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp, FaceTime, etc. The interview should take less than 15 to 20 minutes. Afterwards, I will be writing an analyst of, your, of the interview. No personal identifiers will be used. Although I may quote some of your words in the written assignment, or perhaps even paraphrase or quote it in class discussion about the assignment, your real name will never be mentioned or included in that report to ensure confidentially. The goal of the assignment is to give me experience in interviewing and analyzing how people construct problems with dilemmas. Some people may on, may on rare occasions be reminded of something unpleasant when they think about dilemmas or they might feel uncomfortable. Although it would be ideal for us to complete the, the entire interview, I want you to know that you have a right to stop the interview and quit at any time, especially if something like that happens. If you want to record your interview, that would be great because I may need to review your exact words for my assignment. And it's best for you to keep and control the recording on your own password protected or otherwise secure electronic device. Once I complete the assignment in a couple of weeks, you should erase or and or destroy the app file. If you understand and agree to be my interview partner for the assignment, then please affirm this verbally. Would you like? Yes, I'm ready for the interview. In Europe, a woman was near death from a special kind of cancer. There was one drug that doctors thought might save her. It was a form of radium that a druggist in the same town had recently discovered. The drug was expensive to make, but the drug druggist was charging 10 times what the drug cost him to make. He paid $2,000 for the radium and charged $20,000 for a small dose of the drug. A sick woman's husband, Heinz, went to everyone he knew to borrow the money and try every legal means, but he could only get together about 10000 which is half the, of what it cost. He told the druggist that his wife was dying and asked him to sell it cheaper or let him pay later. The, but the druggist said, no, I discovered the drug and I'm going to make money from it. So having tried every legal means, Heinz gets desperate and considers breaking into the man's store to steal the drug for his wife. So question one is, should Heinz steal the drug? I understand what Heinz is going through, but I don't think he should break into the store and steal it because if he does that, he will also be in real trouble too and get arrested. And then the person who has it will tell the police that he broke into his store. Is it actually right or wrong for him to steal the drug? Why is it right or wrong? It is right for him to get the drug to save his wife, but it's wrong to, it is very wrong for him to break into a store and, and take it himself because this is a 50-50 answer for it, but breaking into a store is still wrong. Times have a duty or obligation to steal the drug. He doesn't have an obligation or duty to steal the drug because if he does that, he's still breaking the law, but unless he has a reason. If Heinz doesn't love his wife, should he steal the drug for her? Does it make a difference in what Heinz should do, whether or not he loves his wife? In this case, I don't think he, he should steal the drug for his wife. Even if they had like a difference or or disagreement with each other, or, or, or if they are already divorced, I don't think that Heinz would done anything for his wife to get better unless he has a change of heart suppose the person dying is not his wife but a stranger should Heinz steal the drug for the stranger 
No, because if it was a stranger instead of his wife, he, he don't even know the person, he wouldn't even bother. Suppose it's a pet animal he loves, should Hein steal to save the pet animal? If it was a pet animal, yes, because sometimes animals carry a, a loving relationship with a human. So if it's a pet, a per I believe a person should do anything to save their pet and get the medicine or drug they need to live or survive. Is it important for people to do everything they can to save another's life? It's very important to do anything that is necessary to save a person's life because there are very different options and very different situations another person could be. Either they need a different type of medicine or drug or pills to save their life and they just have to do anything that's right to save a person or a family member. Is it against the law for Heinz to steal? Does that make it morally wrong? It is against the law for Heinz to steal, even if he had to like kill or even rob a person from a store, it is still wrong for him to do that and it's against the law. In general, should people try to do everything they can to obey the law? In today's society, everything has to be right for everything to be right. So you ask your question, and should people try to do everything they can to obey the law? I believe yes, everything, everyone should do their best to obey the law because they want to do the right thing so they won't be in trouble that, end up, that have them end up in prison or jail or, or any other consequence. They have to be really good people, really good citizens in this world so they won't face the consequences. All right, sir, in thinking back over the dilemma that we discussed, what would you say is the most responsible thing for Heinz to do? And tell me why you think it's important for him to do that. The important thing for Heinz to do at this situation right now is, I believe he should not rob or break into this man's store to get a drug or find somewhere, somewhere else or someone that knows that has the ingredients, the drug or the medicine to save his wife's life and not do any any other harm and bad thing to do that will cost him cost him years of his life or his reputation and i believe he should ask someone to help him out too that knows the answers